Hi everybody, this is Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 16, 2016. Today the moon is void of course until about 1400 hours Central European time, that's around 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when it moves into Aquarius bringing this electrical fast moving energy much more cerebral into our daily routine and a little later on around 20 hundred hours Central European time that's around 1400 hours Eastern Standard Time it squares Ceres and two hours later it squares Juno this could be a sensitive time for relationships especially long-term relationships and the give and take in relationships is on the table. How much do I give? How much do I take? How much uh, TLC am I getting? How much TLC am I uh, giving? And is that enough or is it too much? If we are staying up late in Europe from around 2300 hours Central European time, that's 1700 hours Eastern Standard Time, an energy wave comes in with a sextile to Mars and it's a very active uh, evening and night and that's great for any kind of activity that we want to utilize it for. This is a time of breakthroughs, it's a time of innovation, it's a time of surpassing challenges that we've been facing for a while if we're brave enough and wise enough to change our ways and to leave some of ourselves behind. Understand what's not beneficial already for our future and be brave enough and wise enough to just let it go and be part of our past and not part of our future. And that can actually provide us with the breakthrough that we are looking for. The aspects for what I said now is Sun, Trining Uranus, Queen Kongsing, Chiron. Mercury is going to conjunct Jupiter soon. Mercury in charge of our communication and navigation through life. Jupiter, the great benefactor, the, the, the planet that's in charge of wisdom and of enlarging our scope, us uh, really widening our horizons and deepening the way we understand life and truth itself. So when it conjuncts the planet of communication, there is a lot of important communication to be received and sent. So open up those pores and soak in information during the next few days. And if there is important information that you should disseminate, that's the time to do it. That's the time to do it. Venus is still on the North Node. I'm not going to talk about it. If you want to listen and understand what that means, you can go to yesterday's video. So we'll be talking tomorrow about the conjunction between Mars and Saturn coming up. Thank you for listening. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.